Hello everyone, let's start with chapter number 3, pair of linear equations in two variables. So I am going to start today with NCRT example. So this is from exercise 3.1 and we, gen we generally have MCQs based question here. So let's start with question number 1. So it says graphically the pair of equation 6x minus 3y plus 10 equals 0. The another equation is 2x minus y plus 9 equals 0. Represents two lines which are intersecting at ex exactly one point, intersecting at exactly two points, coincident at exactly two points or parallel. So in this case what I will do is I will find the ratio of a1 over a2 and b1 over b2 and c1 over c2. So let's check whether they are equal or whether they are not equal. So let's check with this equation. So now we are given with a1 over a2. So a1 here is a1 here is 6. So 6 over 2. 6 over 2 and b1 over b2. b1 is minus 3 and b2 is minus 1. Now c1 over c2 that is 10 over 9. Now 6 over 2 is 3 and minus 3 minus 1 is 3 and 10 over 9 is as it is here because it will be in decimal. So we can clearly see that there is a relation between a1, a2 and b1, b2 that is they are same. And the last one is not equal. So a1 over a2 is equal to b1 over b2 and is not equal to c1 over c2. So this is the inconsistent solution. So we can say that this is no solution and graph will be a pair of parallel lines. So the right option is D part. Now moving on to next question number 2. Question number 2 says the pair of equations x plus 2y plus 2y plus 5 equals 0 and minus 3x minus 6y plus 1 equals 0 have unique solution exactly two solution infinitely many solution or no solution so in this again what we will do is we will find the ratio of all so ratio of a1 over a2 that will be 1 and minus 3 and another one 2 over minus 6 now the last one c1 over c2 that is 5 over 1. So you can clearly see that a1 over a2 and b1 over b2 are same. So the first one is minus 1 over 3. The next one is minus 1 over 3. And the last one is 5 over 1. They won't be any different here. They can't be reduced as well. So you can clearly see that a1 over a2 is same. And b c1 over c2 is not equal. So therefore we have the same condition as in the case of portion 1. So a1 over a2 equals b1 over b2 is not equal to c1 over c2. So the solution is of parallel types. So in parallel condition, we don't have solution for it. So right option here is D, that is no solution. Now moving on to question number 3. Question number 3 says, if a pair of linear equation has no solution, then it is parallel or always coincident, intersecting or coincident, always intersecting. So as you have learned earlier that a1 over a2 is equal to b1 over b2 is not equal to c1 over c2 has no solution and they are under parallel condition. So therefore, the right option is A part. Now moving on to question number 4. Question number 4 says the pair of equation y equals 0 and y equals minus 7 has one solution, two solution, infinitely many solutions or no solution. So in this case you can see that we have two different, different values. That is y equals 0 
and y equals minus 7. So if I draw y equals 0, so it will lie somewhere here. And if I take y equals minus 7, so it will lie somewhere here. So they have two equations. One is like this and another is like this. So you can clearly see that these are of parallel condition. They can't intersect each other. So therefore these two equations won't have any solution. So the right option is D that is no solution. Now moving on to question number 5. It says the pair of equation x equal a and y equals b graphically represents lines which are parallel intersecting at b, b and a coincident and intersecting at a and b. So here it is given that x equals a. So it can be it can be an equation of a straight line that is parallel to the y axis. Let's draw a rough figure for same. So we have x and we have y. And we have a pair of equation as x equal a. So let, let it be here. So let's draw a line across it. And let y equals b. So let it be here. So now you can see that these two are intersecting at a comma b. So the right option out of 4 will be intersecting at a and b. Now moving on to question number 6. It says for what value of k do the equation 3x minus y plus 8 equals 0 and 6x minus k minus y equals minus 16 represent coincident lines. So for coincident lines we have a solution like this a1 over a2 equals b1 over b2 equals c1 over c2. Now a1 is 3, a2 is 6, b1 over b2 minus 1 and minus k. Now c1 over c2 it will be 8 and what we need to do with this equation is we need to make it in the form of standard term. So it will be 6x minus ky plus 16 equals 0. So therefore the c2 is 16 here. Now what we need to do here is we need to take the first bracket that will be a1 over a2 and b1 over b2. So minus minus gets cancelled out. We get 3 over 1, 3 over 6 as 1 over 2. So k is equal to 2 from this equation. And if I take the second part that is b1 over b2 and c1 over c2, we will get the same solution as well. So you can try it. It will be 1 over 2. So therefore again you get k as 2. To find, so the final option for k as k will be 2. That is c part. Now moving on to question number 7. It says if the line given by 3x plus 2ky equals 2 and 2x plus 5y plus 1 are parallel, then the value of k is. So in this case it is given that they are parallel. So we know the condition for parallel. That is a1 over a2 equals b1 over b2 is not equal to c1 over c2. Now we need to find the value of k. So a1 is 3, a2 is 2, b1 is 2k and b2 is 5. So now what we need to do is we need to use cross multiplication here. So we will get 3 into 5, 2 into 2 equals k. 5 will come here, 2 will come down. So it will be 15 over 4 as k. So the right option is c part. Now moving on to question number 8. It says the value of c for which the pair of equation cx minus y equals 2, 6x minus 2y equals 3 will have infinitely many solutions. For infinitely many solutions, we know the solution is a1 over a2 equals b1 over b2 
equals c1 over c2. Now a1 is c, a2 is 6, b1 is minus 1 and b2 is minus 2. c1 is 2, c2 is 3. So now we need to use cross multiplication from the ratio of 1 and 2. I will take the ratio of 1 and 2 as did earlier. So it will be plus 1 by 2. So my c will be 6 over 2. That will be 3. Now using the ratio of first and third. So it will be 6 c over 6 equal to over 3. So c will be 2 over 3 into 6. 3 and 6 gets cancelled out. We get 2 into 2 as 4. So as from the ratios, value of c are not common. So there is no value of c for which lines have infinitely many solutions. Because here, why, why we don't have any values for c is because they get two different values. With the help of uh, different ratios, we get 3 and 4 as c values. So there will be no value at which they can become infinitely many solutions. Now moving on to next question, question number 9. So it says one equation of pair of dependent linear equation is minus 5x plus 7y equals 2. The second equation can be. So in this case we need to make a dependent system of linear equation. Therefore it must be a multiple of the first equation. Like you can see here a1 over a2, b1 over b2 and c1 over c2. They must have some relation, they must be all equal. So as we have a1 as minus 5, b1 as 7, c1 as 2. Now a2 will be, it must be same overall. a2 must be 10, b2 must be minus 40, c2 must be minus 4. Now why? You can see all ratios will be now minus 1 over 2, minus 1 over 2, minus 1 over 2. So now you can see that how they become dependent. They must have same ratios. They all must have same ratios to make dependent linear equation. So for this the answer is D part. Now question number 10, it says a pair of linear equation which has a unique solution as x equals 2 and y equals minus 3 is x plus y equal minus 1, 2x minus 3, y equal minus 5. So here we are given with x and y value that is 2x as 2 and y as minus 3. So now in this case what we need to do is we have the value of x and y as minus 3. So let's take equation a. So in equation a we are given with x plus y minus 1. So putting the value of 2 and 3 we get minus 1 here minus 1 here. Now let's check for the second equation 2x minus 3y equal minus 5. Now 2x, 2 into 2. Value of y is minus 3. 3 into minus 3 equal minus 5. So we get 4 and this will be plus 9. That will be 4 plus 9 is 13. So 13 is not equal to minus 5. Therefore we can cancel out a option. Now starting with second b part that is 2x plus 5y equals minus 11. Putting the value of x that is 2, 5y that is minus 3, 2 into 2 is 4, 4 minus 15 is minus 11. So we have same sides that is they are both equal. Now let us check for the second part as well that is 4x plus 10y equals minus 22. So x is 2 plus 10 minus 3 equal minus 22. 4 into 2 is 8. 8 minus 30 is 
minus 22 minus 22 so now you can see that they have both equal sides so therefore option b is right let us check for c as well so it is 2x minus y equals 1 so it will be 2 into 2 minus minus 3 equal 1 so now you can see that 2 into 2 is 4 4 minus minus is plus so it will be 7 7 equals 7 is not equal to 1 so c is again cancelled out let us check for d part x minus 4y minus 14 equals 0 so x is 2 minus 4 y is minus 3 minus 14 equals 0 so 2 minus it will be 2 plus 12 minus 14 so 14 minus 14 is 0 now the second equation second equation is 5x minus y minus 13 equals 0 now x is 2 y is minus 3 then minus 13 equals 0 so it will be 10 plus 3 minus 13 equals 0 so again you can see that in equation d and equation b the rule is satisfied they both have unique solutions so b and d is the right option for question number 10 so i will meet you for the second half thank you for watching this video have a great day